Um, basically, first of all, what I would understand is I want to remember what secant of pi over 3 is. So if you didn't write this down last class period, or you forgot it, and you know that that's something that I told you that a lot of things in this class you're going to get really good at because you're going to be doing your homework and so often. This is probably one of them. However, if I ask you one of these, you should be able to blink your eye and know the answer. Okay? It's not something that you should, at test day, have to go ahead and continuously reference to see if you can remember. You need to make sure you know these easily conversions. Everybody should be able to use the ratios to convert between radians and degrees. These, though, you should know on point. So in reality, the secant of pi over 3, that is really equivalent to the secant of 60 degrees. Right? It's really the equivalent to secant of 60 degrees. Now, um, we know that's the same thing as 1 over cosine of 60 degrees. So if you're going to use your calculator, that's how you would type that in your calculator. However, the question asked, do not use your calculator. That tells us I don't want um, any approximate answers, which a lot of you gave on your quiz. I want an exact value. So back to that focus lesson again. We need to know what a 60, 30, 60, 90 triangle relationship is. And this is one of those things that's really starting to get with some students is they're not understanding, well, how do they work again? How does the relationship? Guys, if this is 1, that's 2, that's 1 times the square root of 3. But guys, it doesn't matter what side, what do you want to do? And I'll show you. Um, if this is the exact same triangle, remember, special right triangles are proportional. It doesn't matter what their side lengths are. If this is 7, if the short leg 7, the hypotenuse is 2 times 7, right? So it's 14. From the short leg to the long leg, you multiply by the square root of 3. That's why I was trying to make you guys always understand this, these relationships. It doesn't matter what the numbers are, because watch. We know that the cosine of theta is adjacent <laughs> over hypotenuse. So the secant of theta is hypotenuse over adjacent. Now, knowing that pi over 3 is the same thing as 60 degrees, it's a little bit easier for me to look at a triangle and say, what is, if there's 60 degrees, this is my hypotenuse, this is my adjacent, and this is my opposite. Does everybody agree how I labeled that triangle based on 60 degrees being my angle? So it's hypotenuse over adjacent, 2 over 1. So that is your answer. No calculator needed. It's 2. Now let's go and take a look. What if I would have done this triangle? Well, this triangle would have been what? Hypotenuse over adjacent, 14 over 7, which equals 2. So do you guys see, it doesn't matter. Special right triangles are proportional with one another. It doesn't matter what the side lengths are. Don't get like worried like, oh, what should I put for here? It doesn't matter. Put x. That's what I, how I told you. If that's x, that's 2x. If that's x, that's x squared of 3. It doesn't matter which, what the side lengths are, at least in this current point in time. You're perfectly going to be fine for this. OK? So the answer is 2. Make sense? Yes? No? Would anybody like me to further explain, elaborate further? No? That was a good explanation? That was. Yeah, that was. Pretty good. OK. Fantastic. Yes, Kayla? Yeah. Huh? 